Hi, my name's Rob, and today I'm gonna to go through with you the steps of setting up, inspecting, painting with, and cleaning an airless sprayer. The sprayer we're using is a Graco 390, but most airless sprayers of this size are fairly similar. As you saw, the first thing I do is inspect the main housing filter on the sprayer itself, make sure it's clean. Then we go right to the gun filter inspect it, make sure it's clean, make sure it's in there, and that we're using the proper filter for the painting application we're about to do. We normally use a medium mesh filter. If you're using a fine finish tip, low pressure, then you'll wanna use a fine finish, or, fi or a fine mesh tip instead. So always testing the sprayer, we'll use water. Run water through it, Prime it, and this gives us an opportunity to inspect everything without the chance of it being dirty with paint that we'd need to clean up if, if there was something wrong with the sprayer. So we'll check the lines, gun all the way back to the sprayer, make sure there's no leaks in the line, uh, flush a little water through it. Just you want to make sure that everything's in proper working order. There's the prime valve. This direction is spray. Straight up and down is prime. This is the pressure valve on the Graco. To the left is pressure all the way down. And then to the right is pressure all the way up. So adjust that accordingly. Now we've inspected everything, ran the water through, we're ready to go into paint. So we'll put the pickup tube directly into the bucket of paint. Uh, one tip, if you're using paint that's not brand new, or even sometimes it is, it's a good idea to strain the paint first because that can easily clog up your rock catcher on the intake tube. Here we'll prime, prime through until we see paint coming out of the prime tube and then switch it to spraying back into the paint. Let that go for few seconds. <clears throat> then switch over to spray and we'll discharge the water from the line into the bucket of water. The timing depends on how much line you have. We just watch it closely. As soon as paint starts coming out, spray that paint back into your paint bucket and let that run for a while, making sure to get all the paint water mix through the system and you have only pure paint coming out. At this point, you'll put your tip guard and filter on. For this test application, I just put a tip guard straight to the gun and using a 515 tip. So that'll vary depending on your application for using an extension or not. The spray pattern looks good with the pressure turned almost all the way up. All right, now that we're done painting, we'll begin the cleanup process. First thing is to put your pickup tube into a bucket of water. And you want to rinse off the tube itself first thing. So now we'll switch it to prime and flush out until it hits paint water. Once you see it switch to the paint water, then you put it back into your, into your water bucket. 
Let that run for a couple seconds, then switch to spray. Remove your spray tip. Now carefully spray the remainder of paint that's in the line back into the paint bucket. And just in reverse as before, this time we'll watch until the first signs of water come through the line. Position your buckets near each other so you can do that quick change without having to lift the trigger. Flush that through for just a little bit. And at this point, you're done flushing the paint out of the system. So we'll go ahead and put the lid on the paint and get that out of the way. And we're gonna get rid of this paint water mix and get a fresh bucket of clay. So before sticking the intake tube back into the clean water, we'll give it a quick rinse off. We want to keep this water as clean as possible. Spray off the tip. I'm gonna remove the main filter on the sprayer. Take that out and spray it off and clean it very well. If we were just to continue flushing water through the sprayer, it would take quite some time before that filter would actually get clean. So this gives us a really good jump on getting the, the unit clean by doing it at this point. Even like to flush a little water down into the filter housing. It'll actually turn the unit on and let some water pump through that, through and out of that housing until we can kind of see the water turn more clean. that for a few seconds and shut it off and go ahead and put the filter housing back together. We'll now turn it on again onto prime and flush out the remaining dirty water in the prime through the prime line. Now we switch to spray and we'll flush through the remaining paint water in the line into this empty bucket. Definitely always be mindful of your area where you're cleaning out so you're not getting paint water or potentially spattering anything where it shouldn't be. Now that we got fresh, clean water coming through the unit, I'm going to stick the spray tip back in and we'll spray through some clean water on that. I usually start it with it reversed. The tip guard's a little loose there. Anyways, then switch it around, spray normal a few times. You don't want to overdo it because that'll wear out the tip quicker by spraying too much water through it. It's not necessary. Run a little more clean water through the system.
Now I've shut the sprayer off and I'm removing the spray gun filter. Clean that out real well. Spray out the gun while it's apart. I'll go ahead and turn the sprayer back on for a few moments just to flush through, just to verify that the water coming through is completely clean. Shut it off again, gonna put the gun back together. These are made to be hand tightened, that normally that's all it takes. Just give it another shot of water just to make sure you got the gun back together properly. It's all still working as it should. And that is it. Your sprayer is completely clean, which will definitely extend the life of it. Here's another step you should actually do prior to spraying, but also a good idea to do it once you're finished too, just to keep it in good shape is throat seal lubricant. I'm gonna keep the piston lubricated. On the Graco, it's accessible right in the front section there. You know, each sprayer is a little different. It only takes a few squeezes. You can't really overdo it. I mean, if you do, it's just gonna drip out the front. Just wipe that up. Get your hose and cord all rolled up nice and neat. Maybe a little neater than I did here, but anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. ACP.